Hello, LA. You have way past your bets on that one. Hey but there, Slick. Something comfortable. I know I have. So what'd you, you find out about money? All right, then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. See you around, then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. Hey there. Need something specific? Why are you up so late? Sure, pal. What is it? Um, how many boats do you own? What uh, place? Two. Actually, three. Oh, you mean that? Uh, one is uh, in the shop. I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand? Look at the ocean. I used to love swimming out into her at the crack of dawn. Be my guest. <laughs> you got me. I reckon it happened a bit before we got here. A lot of viciousness the whole world over. Bound to creep into your backyard sooner or later. Be my guest. Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there. Uh, eh, eh. M mur murder. No, no, I, I, I wasn't here when it happened. I don't know what I'm saying. Murder. Yes, the killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis, to the home of the stars, and then returns fulfilled and empty once again. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Then ask again.
no, no, no. Queen Bitch would say no to that. Yes. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing back here? Oh, you here for the special sauce? Okay, stupid question, Phil. She's in the freezer. Today's code is Hank, Phil. It's, uh, moon landing, uh, 1969. <laughs> I need it. A drop of it on my tongue, sliding down my throat. The hot flash in my brain lighting up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. Let me go. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. You don't look well at all. Oh, oh sweet mother of God! <laughs> the heat. Mm, it's never been so satisfying. All of it. I drank until I heard his heart stop and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've... I've... killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? What just happened? It's not who I am. I've never done anything like that before. I'm not a monster. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped. Trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. My name is Lily. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood. And apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. But I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. E 
he doesn't hate me anymore? I'll go see him. Thank you. Oh, about tonight, what I did? Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less fill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? Now I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more! That's interesting. A missed opportunity. Guns make people cocky. They never appreciate what a skilled hand married to a knife can do. All you have to do is get close enough to cut off the trigger finger. Or their face. You like to talk, don't you? I want to hear a story. Tell me, what's the best way you violenced up someone? I want to hear every grisly detail. If I like your story, I'll sell you some blood. Blood comes from out of the living. From all kinds in a red torrent. A crimson seep at the speed of a heartbeat. For each drop, a teen bit of life shed. You don't care how it's got, as long as it is. You'll be begging for it, and not getting any. my lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped this, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. <coughs> We're going to be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. Life's been hard on him, both of us, but he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there, as long as we're together. What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? 
Mmm, you smell new, little boy. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. And the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that. I am Jeanette, and this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. <sighs> I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite sweet and soon, I promise. Street. They serve the fruits over there. 
Therese? She's upstairs. She said she had business to attend to, but I can hear her and Jeanette bickering from here. Why do you need to see her? What? Are you serious? I've worked for that bitch the last 15 years, and now she's replacing me? Well, I'll take the elevator over there and tell her she can kiss my ass. I'm out of here. Something else you need, Chief? portrait of me with your turn of the century bard. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked, painted house, concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no sin. <laughs> Let's see who is without sin past the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one of them. Joke. Don't you call me that? Did I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Nonsense. She's nothing but. Therese Borman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? Tongue and his co-conspirators' actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug, but in return... You'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Oh, I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. Yes, ghosts exist. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold.
Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight.